So it's time for a new battery. You've seen this lightweight lithium ion. Of course, you're familiar with that conventional battery. I'm here to help you choose the right one for your bike and your riding style. These are just batteries, right? They're both batteries. They're both gonna fit right in the bike and they just start the bike up. There's no difference. There's actually a big difference and it's important you choose the one that's right for you so it does not disappoint. Conventional batteries like this premium UASA. What they do really, really well is let's say for street riders that use their bike in a wide range of temperatures. I mean, let's be realistic here in Michigan, you know, some of those early nice days where maybe it's 50 or so out during the day, well, it's not 50 degrees at night in the garage. It's gonna be 30 degrees. It might even be high 20s, okay? A lead acid battery manages those temperatures really, really well when it's in a full state of charge. That's one of the areas with a lithium battery that when they sit and they get that cold, they don't perform as well. The performance degrades and you may find yourself in a no start condition, which is not what you want. The big draw with going to a lithium battery as compared to a conventional is weight loss. Each one of these batteries will fit into a 2016 Suzuki GSX-R1000. This one weighs without the acid in it, 6.2 pounds. This one weighs 2.45 pounds. For under 200 bucks, you are losing about four pounds of weight, which is a lot of bang for the buck when it comes to weight loss. That is the biggest reason, in my opinion, to go with a lithium battery over a conventional. Okay, now let's talk applicate. Who is that right for? Well, the no-brainer, certainly if you built a track-only bike, we're forever trying to shave ounces off of these things and spend a ton of money to do it. Here's four pounds, almost four pounds for under $200. It's a total no-brainer. Also, low temperature operation, you're not typically going to a racetrack where it's going to be sub 30 degrees, okay? Maybe the very early season stuff when it sits in the trailer, but it'll be a little bit warmer in the trailer. So you're not going to have to really worry about that cool temperature degraded performance. Now, even if you have a kick-ass street machine, you've spent a bunch of money for weight reduction. There's a lot of that too, and you want to go to the lithium battery. First, I want you to keep in mind those temperature swings that we talked about. If you live in a part of the country where that's not even a concern, well, that makes it a lot easier. So even in a street bike, this can be a great option for that weight loss, if you're motivated for that weight loss. But I want to just make sure you understand that it's really important you have a device like this. This is a maintenance system, just like a battery tender for a standard lead acid conventional battery. This is a health monitor with a maintenance charger. This keeps it at a state of ready at all time. And honestly, when your bike's parked, this should just be plugged in. That is best practice, whether you have a conventional battery or you have a lithium battery. Really important to note, when you receive this, this does not come in a state of full charge. It has to be charged to 100% before you use the battery. That is actually true about almost any battery you buy today. We'll talk about that in a minute. With Ballistic, they offer this Evo power system that we've talked about. This gives you the opportunity to just get that thing up to 100% before you ever even put it in the bike. Easy peasy, right? Say for example, this battery, if you decide to go conventional with a street bike or a race bike and you buy a new battery and you have to put the acid in it, this has to sit for two hours and then it has to be charged to 100%. If you start off any one of these batteries and just throw it in the bike, that is going to be the baseline. That's the best state of charge it'll ever achieve. They kind of have memory, okay? So it's important before you ever use it, regardless of what style you choose, that you charge it to 100%. So there you have it. Before you go with a lithium over a conventional, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons and you understand what it's going to take to get the performance that you need out of it. Because the last thing that I want to have is you disappointed when you push that starter button to go for a ride.